We're back, ladies and gentlemen, in the main hall. Nice to have you all again here with us. It is time for continuing of our case study presentations. And you met Katarina. She was with us. But now she said, I want to take you to South Africa. Who would refuse that? Hello, Katarina. Can you hear me now? Uh, yes. I, yes, I can. Just a second. Starting my video as well. Okay. Hello. As you know, Katrina is from Katexas. She knows what she wants to share with us today. And officially, that is something which will be probably nicer to see live in South Africa, but this will do online, okay? <laughs> this year. For now. Uh, <laughs> let's do it online for now, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can see you, Katarina. You can start your presentation so I can confirm that we see or share screen. Okay, brilliant. Let me start to uh, see if it's all well working. Can you see? We can see and you may carry on. Okay. So uh, two words just to uh, introduce Cathexis, as um, uh, I'm sure not everybody actually knows who Cathexis is. It's um, a company from South Africa, uh, more than 25 years in the market. Um, it's a world leader in video management solutions, unfortunately not that well known uh, in Europe, uh, outside of England. Um, but uh, it's the software uh, has been um, well recognized and uh, in uh, 2020 we got an uh, award from Benchmark magazine for the best uh, and most innovative video management system. Um, we have a lot of customers in all kinds of different verticals. Here I put together some of our European but that doesn't mean that we focus on verticals. Uh, we talk about solutions that we bring to our customers. We develop special features for our customers and we make sure that uh, the customer is happy and successful in what they're doing with the tools that we are providing. Um, if we talk about uh, Cathexis as video management system, then uh, first of all, we talk about the flexibility uh, that the system is giving you because we don't, uh, uh, we integrate with all kinds of video cameras, analog and IP. We don't have a limit, any limitations on the service, on the storage that our customers are using uh, on the video wall, on the resolution. Um, we take care of the security uh, of our customers by end-to-end um, -end encryption uh, of the system, by giving them tools to follow the GDPR uh, rules as well. But uh, the most like one of the most interesting parts of the system is the uh, third-party integrations, but also the way we do them. So for example, Cuthexis uh, doesn't use uh, a ready-made uh, you know, connection to the system we create a new database every time we make an integration. That means um, that it gives us two-way communication with the third-party system with which we are integrating. And that means that Cathexis becomes not just a you know, software for uh, viewing uh, and uh, recording um, the images, but it becomes really a video management uh, software. Uh, so you can see that uh, we integrate pretty much with everything, any kind of equipment that can be needed uh, for the project. Um, and this is today what I'm going to talk to you uh, is an example of um, how all of this data can be used, uh, all of this information about integrations, um, and uh, all these features, like all these different cameras and stuff, how can it be uh, used um, you know, at one particular customer? Um, so, uh, because very often, you know, at, uh, in a general presentations, we see that uh, information that, okay, company is doing this, company is doing that, uh, but what does it really mean uh, for a particular customer? So uh, Hewlett Aluminium uh, is uh, a, a huge uh, company, aluminium semi-fabricator. Uh, the business was founded early in 1935. 
it's in South Africa. Uh, its current uh, annual capacity of the rolling mill is 200,000 tons um, a year, and it has customers in 65 countries. Um, so, Cathexis, what Cathexis has done, uh, so they, they have uh, 16 aluminum manufacturing plants on one side. Uh, and each plan has approximately between 80 and 150 cameras. Um, so there are control rooms at each plant monitoring various production facility, as well as a central security control room monitoring health and safety, perimeter security uh, with various entrances to site and also access control integration. Um, so you, you can see that um, they are using um, Cathexis not just for the security, but also for management and uh, management of uh, all different areas of the plant. So we start with the entrance, exit and access control. Um, as we, all we know, uh, all manufacturing sites require some form of system to assist with the management of people processes, facilities, health and safety and security. So let's start with people on site. Large factory sites usually have dedicated parking facilities with access control to get on site. First thing in the morning and also during the shift changes, the entrance and exits cause traffic jams as queues of cars stop at the gate or boom to swipe the access control cards. This can be facilitated easier and faster by using Cathexis NPR with IP cameras to automatically recognize staff vehicles as they drive up to the boom to automatically allow access without causing any delay. Our visitors can also forward their number plates um, in advance to allow access to the parking areas before their visit. During the less busy hours, uh, the access control can be used as normal. Every single transaction is recorded and any anomalies such as unrecognized number plates or access control card can be automatically flagged to the operator for manual intervention via intercom and CCTV. All vehicles on site can be also monitored for speed while on site using Cathexis speed detection and an alert with a touch recording of the offending car and number plate can be flagged for the operator to investigate. Um, when the staff and the visitors leave the car park, they will still have access to the factory via access control gates or turnstiles. All the movements around the factory are limited and access controlled for safety and security purposes. Each access control transaction is stored in searchable database for later reference with associated video of each transaction. Each camera and access control door can be reflected on an interactive map so that every transaction or alert can be reflected as it happens on both live video and recorded video of pre, post and during event. Uh, the next area of uh, attention is, of course, manufacturing processes, uh, which usually um, fall into safety and uh, production. So access to the production floor is controlled by the linked access control and cameras. Thereafter, the cameras are used to ensure that staff and visitors follow the correct sa safety paths. The video analytics can be employed to monitor the area to trigger an alert and record the event if someone breaks the rules and strays off the allocated safety path. Uh, another part is sensitive equipment. It can be monitored using virtual lines, area masks to trigger alerts if someone tries to tamper with it. And object detection can also be employed to detect if somebody is not wearing a safety helmet, safety vest or a mask. Cameras are also employed on the production line to monitor the processes and quality control to ensure there is no damage and that the production line is running smoothly. Triggers an alert from the production line systems 
can be linked to Cosexus system to trigger the cameras to record the event and notify the controller of the problem and bring up live video onto the screen. Most production lines have multiple controllers each with access to the cameras that are monitoring the entire production process. This method enables a single operator to manage far more systems with less staff that normally would be required. Analytics also could be employed here on the production line to alert if there is any product damage or stoppages of the production. Warehousing and uh, distribution is another area which is uh, very important um, uh, in uh, a lot of companies uh, by itself, uh, but also for a large factory like that. Um, because all factories produce goods that need to be stored till the moment uh, you know, they go out for delivery. Uh, usually, the finished product is scanned, packed in boxes and stored in warehouse for later loading in, um, into trucks and for distribution. The entire process can be monitored, monitored from finished uh, to pr uh, produce to loading. The packing process can be monitored closely with the Casexa CTV and uh, video analytics. And any goods being removed from the packing area can be recorded. Scanning of finished goods into stock or out of stock using barcode scanners can be integrated with Castex's video management system to ensure every items or box can be identified and linked to video footage with a searchable database as proof of received, received or delivery of the goods. All entrances and exits can be monitored and the loading process onto the tracks can be closely monitored and recorded as well. The warehouse racking and aisles can be closely monitored for intruders, buyers, smoke, and alerts can be automatically raised. Forklifts can be also monitored for speed, wrong detection, bad driving, or not following safety rules. Trucks entering site and leaving site can be monitored with INPR and weighted on entry and exit with Cothexis video integration to weight bridges which capture the vehicle with the weight and tear and number plate for auditing purposes. Of course, a very important uh, part of every company and uh, of the aluminum plant is uh, fire and smoke um, uh, monitoring. So uh, fire or smoke is always a serious event and needs immediate action. So Cathexus is integrating with smart fire and smoke detection system, which gives immediate visibility and provides a full audit trail of the event. If the fire or smoke alarm is triggered, the alert can be brought to the attention of the operator with the interactive side map reflecting the area and the detector that has triggered the event. The cameras in the immediate vicinity of the alert can be brought to the screen for operator to have a live visual of the actual event taking place, as well as being automatically recorded in the database for later reference and audit. Serious events of this nature can also be automatically routed via email or SMS for attention of senior operations managers. A full audit trail of the video recordings with dates, time, and unit triggered, actions taken, who was notified, and time to handle the event is all captured for later investigation and insurance purposes. And uh, the last part is uh, site security and intruder alarms. Site security is most important and is usually split into perimeter and internal areas. Cathexis video integrates with low light cameras, thermal cameras, perimeter beams and fence monitoring system, uh, systems to alert operators of any movement either inside or outside the perimeter fence areas. Texas analytics can also employ a number of tools to assist with this problem such as virtual lines and marked areas 
to trigger alerts on any unauthorized movement during or after hours and general monitoring and recording and tracking of the individuals on the perimeter. Our algorithm and set of tools can filter out any false alarms that could be easily triggered by trees, bushes, grass, birds, and so on. Cotexis also integrates with the intruder alarm systems and access control, linking camera to record any triggers from the door contacts, passive infrared detectors, door forced entry from the access control to alert the operator of any unauthorized movement or break-ins either during or after hours. The interactive sitemap can show the operator which building and which detector has been triggered and bring onto the screen the live footage of nearest cameras in the immediate vicinity and record the entire event post and post event footage for later review and auditing, whereby a case number can be also opened in Cotex's alarm gateway or alarm receiving center. Notification of the alarmed events can also be routed to various managers via SMS or email. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, you know, this is just an, uh, one of the example of our uh, customers um, that uh, have really, uh, used um, a lot of uh, a lot of features that Texas is offering. Um, of course, um, you know there are areas that, that you know that of what they do that haven't been really covered in this presentation. But I think uh, in general, uh, I managed to you know give you some idea or feeling of um, the way that Texas works uh, with the customers. And would be happy to receive any questions or comments uh, on my presentation. Thank you so much, Katarina, for being with us. We have actually one question, which is quite hard, but you know the answer probably, so I'll shoot it out. What is the most pressing security threat for these systems? <laughs> what is the most uh, the most What is the most uh, pressing security threat? for these systems? Is there a security threat for these systems? Um, you, know, you know, it's like with GDPR. You know, there are rules, there is a set of rules, uh, but uh, it's still the user that is responsible for, uh, you know, using them. <laughs> so, ah, okay. so, so, so we, we give, uh, you know, a set of tools, but it's, uh, you know, everybody, uh, I don't know, has, uh, the same set of rules, uh, so set, set of tools in the kitchen as well, but everybody cooks different. <laughs> okay, so use it wisely. That's the, <laughs> the best exactly. thing to do. It's okay. Exactly. Thank you so much, Katrina, for being with us uh, with the two lectures this few days, and uh, hope to contact you soon for a next one, maybe in near future. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Goodbye.